How to create a pivot table in Excel? This is what you're going to learn in this video. We are going to look at this range of data and we are going to analyze it with a pivot table. So first of all, what we are going to do is to convert this range of data into a real Excel table. How do we do this? We click into the data set, go to insert, click on table and here we leave the box checked which says my table has headers because this table actually has headers. So we click on OK and as you can see the table will be converted or the range of data will be converted into a real Excel table and the table name is table 1 so we can just rename it to for example sample. So why are we converting the range of data into an actual table. The reason for that is simple. Just imagine that later on you want to extend your data set with a real table. This is quite easy. You go, at, you go to the last cell of the table, hit the tab key and this table expands by one row. So now you can enter one row more of data and of course you can repeat this multiple times and like this you can expand your data set and then also expand the data set for your pivot table automatically. Okay, so now that we've done this we have to create our pivot table for that we go to the insert tab and click on pivot table. Now you can see it automatically recognized our sample table as the whole data set so this fits and we want to place it in a new worksheet so this also fits now we can click on ok and here we now have the option to create our pivot table so in the right sidebar menu you can see all the columns from our table and what we have to do now is to look at our data set and think about how we want this data to be represented. And in this case, let's say that we want to analyze all the sales data for our sales reps because maybe they have to get their bonus calculated. And this brings us to the point that we know we have to group our data by the sales reps. So the sales reps are actually our main point in the pivot table. And therefore, we go in here into the right sidebar pivot table fields menu. We select the sales reps and drag them into the rows box. And what this does is that it lists all our sales reps in rows. We can, of course, also list them in columns if we drag the sales reps into the columns box. But I prefer the rows view, so I leave it like this. Now we go back to sheet one where we have the data and um, one task could be now that we want to know the total amount of all the sales each sales rep made. So we want to know the total amount, therefore we need the total amount column. Now we go back to the sheet for our pivot table and now we drag the total amount column into the values box and Excel automatically takes the sum of all total amount fields and sums this up for each sales rep. Just to show you once again what Excel does, it goes through our data and selects or sums up all the total amount values for each sales rep. Okay, so now we go back to our pivot table and since this sum of total amount is actually a currency, we can do a right click in here, select number format and then select currency with two decimal places in the euro currency format. Click on OK and everything will be converted into this selected number format. Now let's go back to sheet one and let's say we want to analyze our data further. Let's say we want to know how many products each sales rep sold. So we have to go into the quantity column because the quantity columns will tell us how many products each sales rep sold. So when we go back to our pivot table, we drag the quantity column into the values box 
and then we can see Diane sold 77 pieces of products, Francis 75 and so on. But we don't know which products. So we, when we go back here, you can see we have various products, for example, the product junk, the product stuff, things, widgets and so on. So we can only see that Diane has sold 77 products, but we don't know which ones. And now we basically want to know which ones. So we again have to group our data for not only the sales reps, but also the type of items they sold. So we go back to sheet two and now we drag the item column into the rows box. And what this does is it groups our data for the sales rep. This is what we've already done, but it groups it further for each item for each sales rep. So we have all the sales reps here and for each sales rep, we can now also see all the products they sold. And now we can see the exact quantity for each product, each sales rep sold. Now it can be the case that you also want a field with a mathematical operation. So let's go to the pivot table analyze tab. And in here we can select fields, items and sets. And when we click on calculate field, we can actually add our own field, which will be a mathematical operation. So let's say that 10% of the total amount so basically, basically of the total revenue, that 10% is our profit. Um, then we can say, we create a new field, which is called profit. And the formula should be equals the total amount. So insert field times 0 0.1. So 10% of the total amount will be our profit. Then we click on OK. And now you can see that Diane actually got us 20, uh, actually got us 223.46 euros of profit. So this is how you add um, new fields out of mathematical operations that you can define by yourself. One thing that you also should know is the filter function. So you can see we have a filters box here. And when we go back to our data, it could be, for example, interesting that we filter for the region. So to see how did the east side perform, how did uh, the west region perform. So we go back to sheet two, select the region column, drag it into the filter box. And now we can select east, click on OK and see all the data for the East region. And of course, we can also do this for West. This filter, by the way, can also be implemented as a so-called slicer. So when we go to pivot table analyze tab, we can also click on insert slicer. Here we select region, click on OK, and then we will get this nice designed filter um, which has buttons. So here we can easily select between East and West. We can also activate the multi select and select both regions. Then when we go back to the pivot table analyze, one thing you also should know is that you can always collapse these uh, data sets. You can click on collapse fields to collapse all of them at once. You can also expand all of them at once and you can activate or deactivate the plus and minus buttons for collapsing and expanding these fields. And by the way, when you click into the pivot table, you also have the design tab. With this design tab, you can fully change or adapt the design of your table. You can also activate banded rows, banded columns, and so on. And here you also have functions for subtotals, grand totals, and more stuff, um, but this is just some advanced displaying stuff. So you can click through it, but I will not explain it in more detail. Yeah, and that's it for this video. I hope you now know how to create a pivot table in Excel. 
If you liked the video, please don't forget to smash the like button and maybe also leave a comment if it helped you. Thank you very much and I see you in the next video.